Now, here you have the Flix bus line. They're uh, kind of quasi-national, and it's kind of like a number of different companies put together to make a bus line. But here, right at Penn Station, they're using this extra space that was a former parking lot as kind of like a bus station. Just incredible. Now, it's just a placeholder, of course, because uh, some big developers want all this space. They're offering these owners like $50 million a building, but the owners are not taking it. They're just saying no, because they know that the buildings are gonna be worth much more. And the lot is probably owned by the developer or some major entity, and they just don't want any permanent fixture on the lot because they want it to be free to uh, make way for development when and if they want that. But this is an amazing location for the bus line that goes from New York to Boston and from New York to Washington and from New York to Philadelphia. You can see how convenient it is. It's right next to the main post office, right here, the Farley post office, and also right next to Penn Station. So someone only has to take the one, two or the three line to get here, or the A, C or the E, or one of the other lines, and they're at the location for the bus line. And they could travel to different cities. I think that's the main idea why it's so convenient to have that parking lot, the former parking lot, used as a place to pick up passengers. And I'm sure the city thought so too. That's why they approved the bus line, Flix bus line, using that location. You can see it's right next to Hudson Yards too. So it just makes for so much sense. Now the bus line is a complement to Amtrak. And Amtrak is here at Penn Station. A lot of times passengers that might take Amtrak want to have a choice. Uh, to also take a bus line if there are no trains available. Well, here you have a bus line. You buy your tickets online, and it's just amazing to be able to do that. Another view of the bus line, looking at it from 8th Avenue and 31st Street. Just to show people from other cities what it looks like and how close it is to everything. That's the main post office again. But a lot of space in that parking lot for the buses to pick up passengers and drop off passengers. That's what's so critical in New York. You have to have that space to be able to do that. And there's, so, there's such a limited amount of space in New York and the limited amount of space everyone wants to charge other people for. So it's good that this bus line does have it. And as I mentioned, they're complementing Amtrak, which is at Penn Station. So their prices are obviously cheaper than Amtrak, but sometimes Amtrak gets packed and you want to have an alternative for transportation. Just another view of this beautiful bus operation that they have. I really recommend it. They are very well organized, uh, very easy to buy the tickets, uh, very professional. Huge parking lot for a variety of buses to go, as I said, from Boston, Philadelphia, Washington. So it's like your one-stop shopping for buses. And there's Megabus, uh, there's Greyhound, uh, there's a number of other bus lines that are out there. And Coach, and the, China bu uh, the buses from Chinatown, all very reasonable. And it just really depends on what a person likes. Sometimes people really like uh, the highly organized bus lines like Megabus and Greyhound. Other times they want something that's a little bit uh, less costly like Flixbus and it's really a great operation. I really recommend it. I've even taken this bus a few times so you know it's really high quality service and it's really great that they're able to be on this parking lot. This was former, formerly a parking lot used for cars. And as I mentioned, I think the owners of this parking lot are kind of using it for a higher value, which, which is a bus line versus a parking lot. And also they want it to be free when and if they're gonna develop this whole area. Like a lot of the big real estate investment trusts are big owners of properties around here. And a lot of those buildings that you're seeing in the distance the uh, big real estate investment trusts want to pay for each building $50 million. But the owners are saying no, they don't want to sell because imagine you're an owner 
Like you know big, huge developments are gonna appear and the $50 million that they wanna pay you right now for your building, in 10 years, they're gonna be offering you 100 million for the building because they need a big building to be put up right in this location.